All right, uh, let's look at the homework two, uh, problem number seven. All right, so we have a quadratic function and uh, we want to find the uh, intercept, vertex, maximum or minimum, and the range. All right, first uh, we're going to rewrite this in uh, vertex form. So uh, let's do that. All right, so first thing I would do is I'm going to pull out uh, this number, negative three, from the first two terms. So negative three is pulled out from the first term. So you have x squared left. If you pull out the negative three from negative 18, so uh, 18x, you're going to have a positive uh, 6x, right? All right, basically dividing by negative three. All right, then I'm going to give a little bit of room uh, inside of parentheses, and then we still have a minus 25. So I'll put it right at the end. All right. Then we have to think about the number we need to complete the square. All right, so this number is 6, so all we have to do is divide that by 2, then square the result. Divide uh, 6 by 2, you get 3. 3 squared would be 9. So what you're going to do is I'm going to add 9 and then subtract 9 uh, right away. All right, so that we don't change anything. All right, so I'm going to. Um, collect, uh, I mean, group the first three terms together because uh, those are the exactly the three terms we need uh, to complete the square. So I'm going to put uh, here plus 9. All right. Then I'm going to distribute uh, negative 3 to this uh, leftover term, which is negative 9 there. So uh, Negative 3 times negative 9 is going to be positive uh, 27. All right? Then we have a still minus 25 right at the end. All right? Then we have, all right, so negative 3 is still there. And then these three terms can be written as x, right, one half of the number. So you have a plus 3 and quantity squared. You can double check, but uh, this is going to give you those three terms. By combining 27 and a 25, it's going to be positive 2. All right, so that's the uh, a vertex form. So uh, let's type it in. All right, so what we got was a minus 3 quantity x uh, plus 3 and squared and plus 2. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, so let's look at the part A. Select the correct choice below if necessary. Fill in the answer box to complete your choice. All right, so we are looking for the y-intercepts. All right, so how do we find the y-intercepts? All right, so in order to find the y-intercept, so this is part A, all right, so y-intercept, what we do is we're going to set um, x equals 0. All right, so which means that we just have to plug in x equals 0. So y is going to be all right, uh, s of 0, because x is 0, right? And you can use uh, any of these forms, but the uh, I, I, initial one is actually the easiest. So if, if you plug in x equals 0 here, first term is 0, second term is 0, and the last term stays. So it's going to be negative 25. All right, so we have a y-intercept is negative 25. So a, and uh, it's a negative 20, 25. Oops, I can't... Uh, negative 25. All right, let's check the answer here. All right, so we got that. All right, uh, next one. Uh, well, let's see, we want to find the x-intercepts. So let's find those. All right, so uh, x-intercepts. Um, actually, so this is not actually even part A, so maybe I should erase that. All right, then x-intercepts. So what you do is uh, we're going to set the y equals 0, right? So which means that uh, I'm going to use this function. This is going to be uh, negative 3, right? x plus 3 quantity squared plus 2, right? Then we're going to set this equal to 0 because the uh, function value is the y value, 
right? So let's try to solve this equation here, right? First thing is, I'm going to isolate x, so I'm going to get rid of 2. Subtract 2, so you have a negative 3 times quantity x plus 3 squared is equal to negative 2. Right? I'm going to get rid of uh, a negative 3 there, so we're going to divide through by negative 3. That way we have quantity x plus 3 squared is equal to, right, negative divided by negative is positive, so it's going to be just going to be 2 thirds. Right? Then after that, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Right, so it's going to be, if you take the square root, you have the x plus 3, but you have to do a plus or minus a square root of uh, 2 thirds. Right, then last step would be just to subtract 3, so that I can get rid of a positive 3 there. So x is all by itself, uh, so it's going to be a plus or minus square root of uh, two-thirds minus three, right? So uh, let's uh, type it in. All right, so uh, x-intercepts, right? Uh, it says that integer or decimal uh, rounded to two decimal places, right? So we have to uh, use a calculator or some sort of uh, mathematical software to get the decimal numbers. Uh, let me open a, um, a graphing calculator here. All right, uh, I open up a, a graphing calculator here. So we, uh, we need to have a square root, right? So where is square root? Uh, so it's going to be a second, and uh, here it's a square root. And it was two th a positive 2, th so we're going to do a 2 divided by 3 inside. And then uh, you have to subtract 3. Right, so let's find the answer here. So the positive one is going to be uh, negative 2.18. So I'm going to put here, right, negative 2.18. Right, then we have to do the other one too. So I'm going to let's see, let's view always in front. Right, we have to also do a negative uh, square root of. Uh, two-thirds, right, then you have to subtract uh, three from there, and then this is going to give you a uh, negative uh, 3.82, right, so it's going to be a uh, negative 3.82, right, so we have that. So we have, uh, let's see, uh, rounded to two decimal places. So this should be right, all right? So let's uh, check the answer. Uh, check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, uh, B, all right? So we want to find the vertex, all right? So how do we find the vertex? All right, if you look at the vertex form, uh, which is uh, sitting right here, all right? Then you can think uh, in terms of shifting, and uh, you can see that the here, uh, plus 3 is going to shift it to the left by 3, so which means that the vertex, um, so this is a B, by right, vertex, right, original parabola is a, uh, has a vertex 0, 0, this, should, this is shifted to the left by three units. So we're going to have a negative three there, right? Then uh, plus two is going to shift up by two units. So vertex is going to be, uh, y coordinate is going to be at two, right? So it's a negative three comma two, right? So we're going to have, so vertex is, um, let's see here, right? Uh, negative three comma two, right? Let's check the answer, right? We got that. All right, see, function has a either a minimum or maximum. All right, how do we tell? All right, so if you look at the um, uh, uh, function here, uh, you can see that the here, uh, especially this right here, all right, this is a reflection about the x-axis, 
which means that um, a parabola is going to be facing down, right? And we know that the vertex is, if it's facing down, is going to be sitting right at the top. So this is a vertex negative 3, 2. So the largest value uh, this function can get is positive 2, and everything below can be attained. So uh, we can see that uh, here. Uh, it's going to be a maximum, right? Then uh, let's check the answer here, um, right? So we got that. All right, here we have a maximum value, right? The maximum value is going to be 2, right? Because it's the highest point, so we check the answer. So we got that. All right, the range is going to be, we already know that the maximum value is 2, and the all possible y value would be highest is 2 and everything below. So it's going to be uh, starting from uh, negative infinity uh, to positive 2. Then you have to put the square bracket because uh, it actually becomes 2 at one point. All right, so let's check the answer. All right, we got that. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.